greatest stars can withstand the harsh words of the critics. It's time to listen to your reviews, Talk. I admire your skill in the hunt, though you could use some refinement. I'll give you that. You know how to smack the skeezers down. But not quite like me. And I have been treating you for so very long, relatively speaking. Let us begin with that fine fellow, Hachira. You remember him, don't you? I thank you for getting me this far. Smashing work, Tork. But he was a fairly easy one, wouldn't you say? Truly a man who could handle himself. Canal Street Me Blackmore's Drowning Pool. It seems the entire city of Baltimore shakes at the mention of the name Blackmore. The notorious drug lord has taken over most of East Baltimore's drug trade, viciously disposing of his enemies in his infamous underground drowning pool. Perhaps the fact that hardly anyone has ever met him is part of his secret. He lives almost as a legend, only visible out of the corner of an eye, looming over the city like a specter of pure evil. Someone a bit more easy on the eyes. Do you remember Consuela? Help me, please. Right, wrong, who cares? What I want to know is how could you resist that sweet meat? Good. I would have done him up nice just to see if he liked it like that. <laughs> he looks like the type. <laughs>
not exactly the most brave you'd find, but he was a strong man. How do you react to other strong men, hmm? Bloody hell! I'd say thank you, but at this point, I don't know if you did me a favor. None of us are gonna live forever, are we? I admire professional men, but I would not lift a finger to help someone who shirks his responsibilities. is inevitable. Now we must determine which of us is the better at our craft. We will leave no doubt. It has been a pleasure for some of the as worthy as the but every good one must be. I think you're near done with me. Miles to go. show you something special. In my game, I needed somewhere people could be taught a lesson. They were pretty bad people, huh? Oh yes, very bad. Cheaters, liars, fools. I'd tie them up first, and in they would go. Could they get out? No, that was the whole idea. They'd choke on the filth and waste in there, and they'd learn. Damn! Now, who have you brought with you there? My little brother, Malcolm. <laughs> Dumbass. He's just in your way, isn't he? Yeah, most times. You'll never get far in the game with him holding you back. Go on. Shove him in. Teach him. I don't know. Think about it. 
What would your father do? No! I won't do it! I'll never do it! Too bad he has such a loser for a role model. But he's still cramping my game. Dad! Where are you? Help me, Dad! Nothing can ruin you, T. You're alive? You're the first thing I've seen come out of that hole with four normal limbs. I thought you were either dead or were going to turn into something else any minute. Pleased to meet you. I'm Rance Truman. He seems eccentric, but harmless. He will ruin you. He's not what he seems. Bleed him out. Splatter his brains. Kill, kill, kill. You were an abbot, just like me. I could tell from the pants, of course, but also your eyes. The eyes can't hide what you see. They transferred me out of Abbott when I wouldn't stop talking about what I'd learned. They thought Eastern would be better for me. They were wrong. I'm just waiting down here. I escaped from Eastern during the Cataclysm. Ran my legs tired out there for a while. Dropped too many of my papers, I'm sad to say. Now I'm just going to stay right here. Things come out of that hole and then they go right up those stairs. They don't even stop to say hello. It's as if they know I'm special. They don't want to bother me. To look at it, you might think Carnate was somewhere unique in its evil. Right now, I'm sure you can agree. Everywhere you go, the soil is saturated. You've heard about the Warden from Eastern? Not Junior. His father. Warden Elroy the First. The one that kept inmates in solitary until their brains melted. And he was coming up in the ranks at the time of the Great Fire under the machine shop. Makes you wonder. Of course, in the end, Warden Elroy the Senior got his in a riot. The inmates paid dearly for that one. They never got the blood stains out of the blood. This whole city was built on the backs of the exploited. Even in Monument City, you don't see a memorial to the ones who died in construction cave-ins. It was cheaper to hire another Irishman to have safe conditions. Underground Railroad came through here, and these days that usually makes people feel proud. It's too bad the infamous slave hunter Copperfield came to Baltimore one dark day and had his mutts eat all the slave flesh they could find. And you've heard of the Reverend over at the soup kitchen? During the shortages of the Depression, he found some perfectly fresh human corpses and fed the hungry with them. In this city, if a prostitute is reported missing, the report goes right in the trash. If they counted, they'd know that a few decades back, 71 street workers disappeared. Cops don't know about Luther Stickwell. The underground knows well enough to call me. Once I tried that trick on myself with that sharpened spoon, they transferred me out of habit. And now look what's happened there. It's exactly what it is. I just wanted to tell them the truth. And now the truth is gone. Oh, <laughs> 
You always had trouble getting your game on. Coming home? Yeah, your first home. It's not much farther. Trust me, it'll be worth it. Whole lot to learn, player. Now follow me and get your schooling. Remember where you first start playing the game?
a tough place. You learn hard. Here's where you and me got started. Always keep your head up. Keep your mind in the game. Let the other guy make the first move. A player's got to have his eyes on the competition at all times. Not much of a place to learn the rules, is it now?
the left. The Garvey Children's Home sounds so innocent, but I think it was filled with little monsters. T never told me much about this place, but I learned about it when he would wake up screaming at night. He'd be yelling that he just wanted to be left alone. One day when we were out for a walk, we passed it by accident. T stopped cold. He turned around, said we had to go home. If there was one building I could burn to the ground. You recognize this place? You tried your best to grow up here, learn the game. But there's only so much a little one can do without family. Now our friend Rance, he thought he could sit this one out. <laughs> Turns out, not so. I made his safe little haven not so safe. He's in it now. All his chips on the table. I don't think even you could bail him out. And you'd have to hurry. Understand the difference? I don't know. That's okay, my little one. I've got years to teach you. Who are you, you talking to? Nobody. are the ties that bind us. You can't cut them. You can't burn them. You can't be rid of them. You just have to live with them. Or die with them, like Carmen, Corey, and Malcolm. You remember how that played out? Exactly how that played out? Explain this to me. What did you do? Just like you said. We put her down. Put them all down. I never said do it! Now they're gone! I don't think I could have ever done it. But it was the wrong kind we associated with. Untrustworthy. Unprofessional. The kind who kills someone just because they get off on it. We've been through so much together. Do you remember? Blackmore owns Eastern now. Blackmore's here? Where? Show me that shifty snake oil dealer. I've never laid eyes on him. Hey, I know your old lady. Fucking nice rack. The prime target is secure. Prepare to 
<laughs> That's funny. I thought I was there. I was there, in your eyes. Nobody else could see me. Those blackouts, there when I get my time. Get your body. Get to be me in the real world. Everybody else who knows Blackmore thinks I look like you. Because I am you. But we've only got the one body. And I'm tired of sharing. Plays, player. T, it's you and me. We're all that's real. Our creature. He gives both of us. Run a risk with this man, but we're still alive. I knew we would survive. Believe it's that easy? I can't believe it. You lost it. You weren't supposed to lose. All I ask is my fair share. All of it. Oh. Oh. And There's only a few real ways out of East Baltimore. I took the only way available to us, and in time, everyone feared me. Fight fiercely, or don't bother to fight at all. Never quite grab. 
for so long, and now it feels so good to know he's gone. I've run a risk with this game, but we're still alive. I knew you could survive, because I have the ultimate faith in us. done that.
care who hates me. I do what I need to survive. Rightfully mine. I can't believe you. you lost it.
We're all that's real. Lost. Remember, T. Think about it. He's not really there. I don't know how he got in you, but you can get him out. Baltimore. 
I took the only way available to us. And in time, everyone feared. It's not that easy. like this, it's... it's hard to know what to say. You walked the line, T. You stayed true. And the happiness I know proves you were right. Even with what happened to me, the... the ties that bind us are too strong. No one else can compete. And I mean it this time when I say, I never want us to be apart again.
טוב. בלאק? The Garvey Children's Home. Blackmore. I hate even writing his name down. Now I know it was him. Whether T was guilty of what happened at Miles' bar, I'm not sure. But I know it wouldn't have happened without Blackmore. And the things Blackmore said to me about the boys? It's one thing being King Drug Dealer, or whatever he is. But Blackmore takes evil to another level. He's almost too evil to be real, and I've never even seen him in the flesh. The gazebo is where T and I met, and I know it's silly, but just looking at a photo of it makes me wonder. What if that gazebo had been somewhere else? Somewhere far from Baltimore, far from the junkies, far from Blackmore? What if it had been in some small town somewhere out in the country a million years ago? We would have stepped out of that gazebo into a world that would have let us have our life. Had our dream, had our happiness. I still wonder, 